or we don't realize how all sin comes from unbelief so I have decided to trust something more than I trust God Genesis 3 Eve looks at the tree says that the tree looks good for food a delight delight to the eyes desire to make one wise and she decides against trusting in God but she trusts this thing to give her something that God already had in himself right so the, the underneath the sin was a lack of faith in what God has said and what God revealed himself to be so in the same why is it why is it fireworks what's going on okay so <laughs> When we sin, we don't trust God somewhere. Give me y'all so bad. So <laughs> one of the ways to know God better is, is not simply that we don't have faith oftentimes, is that we have misplaced faith. We put our faith in something else to give us something that God already said that he had in himself, right? And so what is the idol? Identify the idol and interrogate and find out what the need is that you've attached to the idol okay very simple explanation might be uh you're in a relationship god told you not to be in because that relationship provides some level of comfort right so the idol is the person but the need is the comfort now this is when you get in your bible because you get in your Bible to learn about the nature of God. And when you learn about the nature of God and you see the ways of God, that incentivizes and motivates and gives an anchor for the reason why he is more trustworthy than the relationship. Does this make sense? I hope it does. So if the need is comfort, then the Bible says in 1 Corinthians that God, God, God is the source of all comfort. So now I am able to put that relationship to death, to, to do whatever it don't mean it won't hurt but it does mean that I have context for why I can trust God more than I trust this boy or this girl you understand what I'm saying? so a lot of times the reason we don't know God in practice is because we don't know God in his scriptures when you know the scriptures that gives you confidence in the God that you're trusting Okay, so that's why you read the Bible and you pay attention to what is it saying about God? How, how is it describing God? What are, what are the, how do the psalmist communicate his nature? Like, what is it even saying like about how God moves? Like, when you read Exodus and see like God over here, he's doing the most to set these people free. He over here splitting seas and turning water to blood and locusts all over the place. So other example, in the Bible, Exodus, after God done set them free, made covenant with them, all the things, they over here are feeling some type of way that Moses is on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights, okay? And so out of their fear, out of their fear, they build an idol okay and a golden calf and watch what they ascribe to the idol they expect that the idol is going to take them where god promised to take them so it's it's ultimately they're scared they have an insecurity and they still want to go where god wants them to go so they need guidance they need security all of that is legitimate needs being scared is human wanting guidance and protection is human but they put it on another thing. They put it on an inanimate object. They put it on a creature instead of entrusting themselves to the one who has already been guiding them. He was a fire by night and a cloud by day. He protected y'all from Pharaoh. He drowned them suckers two chapters ago. You understand what I'm saying? So they get in the habit of when you feel inclined towards an idol or you, you don't want to surrender a thing ask the question what is it what is the need that i'm trying to get met through this thing that i don't trust that god can give me right and i'm not saying worldly so i'm saying like deep human thirst our soul is thirsty but we are going to illegitimate sources to get filled right to get our thirst quenched and so I think this is why I be pushing so much, putting so much energy and saying, y'all got to stop listening to these teachers. That's not teaching y'all about God because what they're not doing, they're not training you to know how to surrender. My God, like they're, they're not teaching you about the nature of God. So when you come in against a trial or when you come against an idol or when God tells you to pluck out, pluck out an eye or cut out a hand, you don't have context for why he's trustworthy. So you continue in rebellion. That's why we need to learn the nature of get it here nor there. So I hope that helps. Like, like at, at the, the holiest people are people who just trust God with everything. Think about that. Like holy people are dependent people. 
sinful people are independent autonomous people and so to grow in holiness we have to grow in faith we have to grow in trust towards god uh, so I talk about this more in my book, Holier Than Thou. I, I talk about how the nature of God, primarily his holiness, incentivizes our faith. And therefore, our trust in him is what makes us holier and stuff like that. All right. Lesson is over. <laughs> Bye.